that about as much as you can expect out of Adrian? Well, I don't know what, ha game? what happened. <laughs> in the game. In the Minnesota game, 25 for 29. Yeah, he, you know, he did a nice job. But, as, you know, as we talked about last week, we got a lot of football yeah. to play. And we'll see uh, how he does in the next coming weeks. And I'll challenge him again to see if it was luck or a freak of nature, that sort of thing, just to keep him grounded. Yeah, but, you know, he's, he's pretty Did you feel good guy. with the, what that looked like, though? Uh, as it was unfolding, as the game was going on, I just, I just felt really. I know this sounds crazy and all that. I just felt like uh, he was doing his job and he was in rhythm. His feet were good. We had good conversations on the field about what was happening, um, and so it was. It was real good. I, 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 he graded out really well as he's been. But the, the one thing he missed, uh, we, we had called a play where he could have put, put the ball down the tube. Uh, and instead, he took the, the the gimme throw. The problem was it was second and 19, and I just said, "Hey, just got to remember, you know, to push the ball downfield to second and 19." But other than that, no, I, I felt pretty good about this. Has his grade steadily progressed from the Michigan game on? Um, well, you know, it's interesting uh, that you asked the question that way, because obviously, in the Michigan game or any of those games that are not too pretty uh you wouldn't expect the quarterback to grade out that well but just in terms of what how he handled himself and what he was doing from play to play he was he was he was pretty good he was fine um but from his first grade to now yeah he's he has steadily steadily improved we still have, we still have some issues you know it's just some detailed things with his feet and that sort of thing but um, but we'll see, you know, he's, he, we got to see how he progresses these next games that we finish out with, you know, we'll go from there. Have the other three quarterbacks gotten more reps in practice recently, or is it kind of the same? Uh, the, 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 the distribution of reps have been about the same. Are you speaking relative to Noah coming back, that sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because him and Andrew are basically sp splitting up reps uh, with the twos right now, so that piece of the puzzle has changed. Is there any change in who might go in first in a game that Adrian goes out? As I, as I would anticipate right now, I would I would think it'd be Andrew, but obviously that's a decision for, for Coach Frost. Okay. I know that at some particular point we'd like to get um, Noah some reps in, in, in a game. That'd be awesome, you know, and I think he, Coach Frost intends to do that. What are those next steps for Adrian? When you when you talk about what he's done to this point, what do you as a coach point to as kind of that next step in his development? Uh, for him, um, well, there's more detail stuff just with his feet that are going to have long range effects and pay immediate dividends once he gets them corrected. And I mean that only by saying, um, obviously his ball placement was pretty good last week. Yes. Um, there were some things with regards to his feet that, that his body posture that could have led to a, maybe a low ball error. So we got to get that corrected. So there's there's absolutely no question where that ball is going to be and why it's going to be there. So th things like that. Quarterbacks, no matter what level of competition, Pop Warner all the way in the NFL can always get better with situation and contingency offense relative to the thing we just talked about. It was second 19. Push the ball down the field. There's no reason. And that's so. Those two things I would say would be really important for us right now as we move forward. Does that does it almost feel like nitpicking at this point? Given no. How well, he's done. No. You know? No. 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 And and the thing I've that I've talked to him about is I don't want to treat you like a redshirt freshman or a freshman because then you live up to your expectations. You know, we expect him to perform like a senior. I'm, and I'm hard on him. I, you know, I am. In my own little way, goofy way, I'm hard on him about everything. About his body posture, about his body language, about his feet, about his eyeballs, about how he practices and all the... You know, he, I, I drive him nuts. Um, but I expect him to perform like a senior. And I, I think his teammates... <clears throat> Wanting him to perform that way as well. I know that Coach Walters and Coach Frost want him to perform that you coach way. Coach guys differently. Each guy's a little different. Do you do that? Is that the approach you have with all quarterbacks, freshman quarterbacks? Yeah, 
y you know, um, particularly if they came in as early hit as he did, and even if they come in and fall, you know, they've had their playbook test, they know what to do, now it's a matter of getting reps, but um, to be hard on them from the standpoint of their performance, you know, I think that's, not think, it, it's just critical uh, for them. And obviously for Adrian now that he performs at that at that level. How have you seen his? I mean, he clearly put on good weight. Yeah. Added size. Yeah. Now we're, we're you know seven games in. Yeah. How have you seen that pay off? In what ways have you seen it pay off? Well, there was a couple instances I I think in the game uh, where he had a quarterback run and he had to use his strength, right? That he's developed to bust through the line of scrimmage and, and get downfield mm -hmm. um, and his escapability come out of the pocket when people are draped on him that's that's really that's really helped him you know um, so that that's important that piece of the puzzle is going really good right now for him is part of the reason why you're so hard on him because you can see the immense potential that he has? Or is that just uh, the that, that thing which you like to do? Well, I, you know, it's, it's important for those guys to do their job. We've talked about this before, you know. If, if, if our guys do their job from week to week, we at least give our a, a team a chance, right? And if, if we don't, uh, boy, it, 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 it really puts a burden on the team as a whole to be successful when we don't do our job. Um, and things for him right now, I, I think I've heard the phrase, you know, things are slowing down sort of thing for him. But really, truly what happens from a cognitive standpoint, it appears that the game is quote-unquote slowing down, but his ability to pick up clues and process those clues is happening a lot faster. He's more attentive to those things. So as a result, he has now the ability, and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing, and it's growing to already know what's going to happen before the ball snap. That gives that appearance that the game is slowing down, so to speak, when actually he's, he's getting more information from the environment, which happens with all guys when they get, as they improve. Um, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's slowing down, but he's able to gather more information and know what's going to happen.